Tech Expedia, we are at Jitex Global 2025 and I am joined by Mr. Matt Colton. He is Vice President for Scout International. Let's welcome Matt and Tech Expedia. Hi, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here. So uh, Matt, tell us that uh, how do you see Four Scouts role in cybersecurity landscape today and especially in this competitive market of cybersecurity? Well, that's a great question. I mean, our role really hasn't changed. We've been quite a mature company, been around for quite some time, over 20 years. In this region alone, we've got well over 500 customers and that only continues to continues really to grow. In terms of our role, our vision is very much to go into organizations and help understand their assets, understand what assets they have, what they're doing, what they're communicating with, the risk. And if you look at this region in specific nature, IT, IoT, OT are all merging. So it's the perfect storm for Four Scout that organizations simply have to have this continuous posture assessment and they need to know what's connecting, what it's doing. Interesting. So what's new at Four Scout now in terms of uh, technology, innovation and business momentum? Uh, business momentum, we continue to grow. Like every organization, there is constant pressure to continue to innovate. Some of the innovation recently, uh, NVIDIA have partnered with Four Scout to ensure that we can go down to a chip level and help organizations understand the behavior of devices across any device anywhere. Uh, quantum computing and AI, as I'm sure you know, is very, very popular. Uh, the use of AI within Scout and how AI is being used by bad people to fundamentally outwit the cybersecurity solutions is key. And then quantum computing. So it's all very well understanding what devices are connected to your infrastructure and how they behave. But now, what's the level of protocol of encryption these devices have? Because, you know, quantum safe is super important. I can deploy a banking application that's 10 years old that does its job superbly, but if the encryption on that is very soon about to be obsolete, it's our duty as a vendor to say, this is what this application is, this is what it's doing, this is the devices, and more importantly, this is the level of encryption that if you're not careful, that can be compromised as well. So it's super exciting, the, the pace of change, not just here within the meta region, but globally is huge for us. How is Four Scout driving growth across international markets? Um, I think like any software vendor, it's really interesting understanding how your product is received in country to country. Obviously in the meta region, we have a lot more manufacturing oil and gas. So that means your product must be able to be deployed to fairly remote sites, must be non-intrusive in terms of deployment, which is super hard for some tools. Um, the use of cloud in regions varies in, in terms of the level of maturity. So in terms of how we see international markets, we must be able to adapt to the legislation in country, to the cloud adoption maturity, to the connectivity challenges they've got, and also sometimes the skills, because different regions have different levels of maturity. So for us, um, as I said, we've been going around about 20 years. We have a lot of experience. We've around about three and a half thousand customers. So we pride ourselves in continuing to innovate, to be able to deploy quickly, to continue to innovate on the information that we discover, hold and provide extra value to the customer. And then also more importantly, to provide consistent awareness around the threats. We are one of the leading vulnerability disclosure organizations in the world for OT devices. So feeding that into our product to continue to innovate and make sure that our customers are protected. With um, all the complexi complexities growing in IT, OT, IoT, how is Force Scout supporting organizations in building cyber resilience? Well, it, it's super interesting that you mentioned all of those things, IT, IoT, OT, because certainly over the last five to six years, there's been a big change in terms of CISO, CIOs recognizing that knowing what's on your physical network is only half the job. The majority of organizations now have more non-connect, not unmanaged devices than managed devices. If we look around just this room here, we've got smart cameras, we've got video cameras, we've got Wi-Fi. There's actually more unmanaged devices than managed devices in this room alone. Now, if you go into an organization, a typical corporate organization, how do you deal with that? So we continue to innovate to ensure that our product no matter what it is, can discover, assess, find, 
govern, control any device anywhere. And that's super important. And you can really reiterate this if you look at some of the major cybersecurity outages that have happened in the last two months, Jaguar Land Rover, uh, some retailers, Asahi in Japan, where fundamentally going after the corporate network isn't actually causing that much disruption. But if I go after the manufacturing, the disruption's huge. So we have to continue to support these big infrastructures that it's not just IT, it's all the other things that are now super important. And that's the real life validation. Uh, I'm a big fan of Asahi beer, so it's super important that their manufacturing line starts up pretty quickly. So any message you would like to give to CISOs, our uh, cybersecurity leaders, and Jitex Global 2025, right? From a Jitex perspective, I think there's some great innovation here. I think it can be really confusing. Um, you know, there is, as we know, no silver bullet to anything. So a lot of it is not only just understanding what's on your network, what's on your infrastructure. Now it's understanding the risk and tools are out there that can give you uh, a quicker step of understanding that risk. Um, you know, I've worked for lo lots of startups and lots of mature companies. I think partnering with somebody that understands that and has a pedigree is super important. Um, I certainly think in the meta region, obviously there are some phenomenal channel partners, i.e. the people that are there to support you. So it's really important that you don't just choose your right vendor, you also choose the right product support partner, i.e. channel partner, otherwise, you know, your investment, you might not get the return on it as quickly as possible. The, the time to value element, I would say, for any size there is don't just buy tools, make sure you buy tools and implement them and also challenge the vendor to provide you with the, the, the value that they promised when you bought it all, all along that journey. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, Matt. It was great talking. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for watching. 